going through a health scare just really makes you realize a lot of things to be honest and it kind of sucks that going through something like this is what forces you to wake up in a lot of ways because I honestly just miss the taste of coffee. I don't All right, second time's the charm. I'm trying to start this vlog. We're gonna try not to make this dramatic. I'm also gonna like keep some things private, but I do wanna give you guys an update on where I've been. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. If you are new, this is not typically how I start the vlogs. It's also not normal for me to go three weeks without posting a vlog. I honestly think that's the longest break that I've taken. Since I started my channel four years ago, I think the longest break that I've taken before that was like a week or two off of missing a vlog just for travel, getting sick, you know, life things. But three weeks to a month is a long time for me to go without giving you guys some something to watch. I posted on the community tab of my channel, which if you don't know the community tab on YouTube, if you go to someone's YouTube channel, sometimes people post like updates that aren't videos or like i can post a status update basically i do this occasionally when i know i'm gonna miss an upload or if my schedule is gonna be weird or if i just want to like connect with you guys ask questions so if you ever are missing a video from me or you're curious as to where i am i try to keep that tab pretty updated so about two weeks ago i think it was now maybe even a week ago i think it was two weeks ago i posted an update on the community tab basically saying that I wasn't going to be posting a video that Sunday because I was under the weather and didn't have the opportunity to film. Since I posted that status update, it has been I think like three weeks since I've uploaded a video, which is very abnormal for me. So I have been under the weather. I don't have the flu, I don't have COVID, I don't have a stomach bug, I don't have anything that you could like treat with medicine. I'm not like down for the count but I do have some medical issues going on and I just like don't even know how much I really want to share about the medical issues because I don't have all of the answers yet if I'm being completely honest, which is unfortunate and just very scary. I just don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel like myself. I've seen several doctors. Uh, no one's really been able to give me like a confirmed solid answer. So I've spent the last three weeks just trying to focus on my mental health, my physical health, getting everything in check, trying to get answers as to why I feel the way that I do. I'm having a hard time wanting to talk about my symptoms because the last thing that I wanna do is put like false information out on the internet or freak you guys out because I know how toxic social media can be when it comes to like diagnosing yourself with things. Trust me, I've gone down a spiral trying to diagnose myself the last three weeks to a month and I still don't have it figured out so I know how toxic social media can be when it comes to health issues and health concerns but also I feel like me seeing, sitting here being like oh I just don't feel like myself, I feel weird, I feel funky, I've seen several doctors also is just like weird and confusing in and of itself so i'll tell like a little story i won't give you all the information but i'll tell you like a quick little story of like when this started and like where we're at now so when we went to new mexico three weeks ago i think it was i started to not feel that great the drive back from new mexico i just felt like super dizzy lightheaded nauseous not feeling so great I then went about my life for the next two or three days. I still didn't feel 100%, but I thought that I was fine. I was getting better. I wasn't as bad as I was that Monday when we were driving back. Fast forward to my packing video, which I uploaded leaving for Crested Butte. This is just such a sign that like social media is such a highlight reel and you never know what someone's going through unless they talk about it. I actually didn't feel 100% great during that packing video, but I was just hoping for the best and praying for the best that I was going to be fine by the time we left to go to Crested Butte because I'd been looking forward to this vacation for so long. We were both so excited to ski. This was like one of my Christmas gifts from John. So I proceeded with making that video, uploading it. We actually went all the way to Crested Butte. I ended up not skiing that weekend. I just hung out and ended up getting a massage and an oxygen treatment. And John ended up skiing because I just didn't, I still didn't feel good. I was super dizzy, lightheaded. I just like could not pinpoint what was wrong with me, but I knew that skiing was gonna make it worse. So got back from Crested Butte and it, whatever was going on just proceeded to continuously get worse like i was not getting better and the best way that i can describe it is that i 
felt like I was rocking on a boat 24 7 like I'm not necessarily dizzy or lightheaded continuous it literally feels like I have just gotten off a cruise ship and I do not have my land legs but I haven't had my land legs for like three or four weeks which is a very scary and terrifying feeling because the first thing that comes to mind is there's something going on neurologically and I just basically came to all the worst conclusions on my own. Also if I'm laughing it's because I'm uncomfortable and I don't know how to talk about this and I'm also just like even hesitant to even upload this on the internet or in this vlog because it's just a lot of information and it has been a lot to go through and yeah but anyways throughout the last three weeks i have seen numerous doctors i have seen my pcp i have seen an ent i have seen a rheumatologist i even went to the emergency room one day because it got to the point where like i just could not handle feeling like this and there was no way that someone could convince me that something isn't or wasn't seriously wrong with me there's no way that it's normal to feel like this 24 7 was basically my thought process going to the emergency room so I went to the emergency room, they diagnosed me with vertigo, and it ended up being a misdiagnosis because when I went to the ENT a few days later as a follow-up appointment, the ENT told me that it wasn't vertigo. So I have been diagnosed, misdiagnosed. This past week I actually ended up going to the neurologist, which is great because I feel like anything related to the symptoms that I have, the neurologist is probably the correct answer. Like once the ENT ruled out that it wasn't vertigo, the emergency room couldn't do anything for me, the neurologist was the next logical next step. So I was actually able to see a neurologist this past Tuesday and she thinks I have something called mal de embarkment syndrome, which people do typically get from boats. Like, when you get off a boat and you feel like you don't have your land legs and you have sea legs and you're rocking back and forth, if that goes on for a certain period of time, it turns into something called mal de embarkment syndrome. And her guess is that this is what I have and I somehow managed to get it from skiing in Taos and then driving on the windy roads immediately after. That combination of the high altitude, the fast speeds, the winding, the whipping of my head, the whole nine yards led to me getting the syndrome even though I wasn't on a boat, which sounds absolutely crazy, but if you look up the syndrome, like I have a lot of the symptoms that fall under the category of this syndrome. So that is the current quote unquote diagnosis that I guess I currently have, which doesn't sound as serious i guess as like i'm making it out to be but if you felt the way that i feel and you have experienced these symptoms then you kind of know what i'm going through and also this is just a guess that this is what i have there's no blood test that they can give me there's no mri that they can give me there's there's no test that they can do to confirm that this is what i have this is just like her best guess and we can only take steps forward based on this best guess so doing physical therapy. Um, she gave me like a prescription for some sort of medicine that I could take if it gets really bad. That's where I'm currently at. I've also had like a few other health things going on that have been consuming just like a lot of my mental space and it's been very taxing and I don't even really want to get into that because I still don't have the answers for that and it's also very scary and it's just a lot at once. Like I just feel like I've been through a lot these past three weeks all of a sudden and I'm just ready to get back to like my normal quote unquote normal life. I was sick with a sore throat and then I hurt my back and then I have this syndrome that all of a sudden decided to pop up out of nowhere. I still don't feel great i still feel like i'm swaying 24 7 so if i literally am physically swaying i cannot tell on camera i probably won't be able to tell until i edit this back it's because i legitimately feel like i'm on a boat 24 7 which is a very bizarre and odd feeling that is the current state of what i've been dealing with for the past three weeks why i haven't been vlogging one i i've been crying every day for the past three weeks trying to figure this out because it's been a very scary situation Two, I just haven't felt good. Three, I don't want to turn on the vlog and be fake by any means. Like the last thing that I want to do is turn on a vlog camera and mm. pretend like everything's okay when I'm literally having like three mental breakdowns a day. My mental health is in the trash can. My physical health is in the trash can. I have no answers to anything and I'm just all around struggling. The last thing that I want to do is turn on a camera and be fake. I decided that I needed to take a little break from YouTube. I've literally barely been able to do my 
actual nine to five job. I mean, I've been able to hang in there with my nine to five job and I've made the people that need to be aware of what I'm going through aware of what I'm going through. But I just had like a reality check that I needed to take a step back from a lot of things to figure out what's going on with me and to get this 100% resolved. So I took a step back from YouTube from social media, I've taken a step back from socializing, like I barely leave the apartment nowadays. I Sorry, my camera died. But I have overall just been attempting to prioritize my health and wellness because at the end of the day, if I do not have my health and I am not mentally okay, physically okay, I can't show up anywhere else. That's the situation, that's what we've been going through. I also just remember that I have stains all down my white shirt, so. That's awesome. If you see those, just ignore them. That's the reality of life recently. I'm trying to think of like what else I want to say. It's just been a scary three weeks. I'm now in a better position than I was last week. I don't want to cry. Why am I? I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> um, I'm now in a way better position. Not way better, but I'm in a better position than I think I was last week. I think seeing a neurologist and having next steps and just knowing that a lot of things that were like really scary and really dangerous have been ruled out so far makes me feel a little better going through a health scare just really makes you realize a lot of things to be honest and it kind of sucks that going through something like this is what forces you to wake up in a lot of ways just over the past three weeks I have been so grateful and so appreciative for my support system like my family my friends john dot my doctors like i just feel like i have a really really amazing support system which has been very very helpful and i'm so grateful for and i couldn't even imagine like going through all of this on my on my own i'm gonna cry why am i crying so i'm just so <laughs> freaking grateful for that it's also like led me to reevaluate how i'm treating my body not that i was treating it bad before because you guys know we eat like relatively healthy i work out often we ski we're always on the go but it has forced me to reevaluate things that we were doing that i thought were like fine so i've changed my diet i'm currently in the process of doing like my own little version of 75 hard just to get my health in check i'm doing more like slow low impact workouts related to what i've been going through so a lot of balance focus exercises yoga just walking outside haven't been doing pilates haven't been doing weightlifting really i've been taking it slow that's that this was such a dramatic update um i really didn't want it to be super dramatic but i wanted to give you guys a lot of context of what i've been going through for the past three weeks so with all this being said be patient with me I am gonna try to get a video uploaded for you guys once a week starting back up this week. I'm not gonna force myself if I don't feel like it and if I'm not feeling good and if I feel like I really need to take another step back, I'm going to allow myself to do that. Like I mentioned, a lot of my days have been sitting in the apartment and just hanging out. Like I go downstairs to the gym to do a workout for an hour or I'll go for a walk outside, but a lot of my days have just been sitting on this couch because i truthfully can't really stand up without feeling i want to fall over but um a lot of my days have been sitting on the couch laying in bed reading just a slower pace of life in general that's probably not the most interesting vlog content but it is the reality of my life at the moment that's that that was so all over the place so sporadic not the update that i wanted to give i had this whole like speech planned out in my head of how i was going to make this like a productive clear concise update and i just ended up word vomiting which happens every time i open up the camera so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i feel like it's probably just going to be a few days in my life not really even getting back into routine i was going to say getting back into routine but i don't really have much of a routine at the moment just enjoying slower pace of life um taking you guys along with whatever we end up doing today's thursday so the weekend is coming up here we're currently in the middle of a snowstorm apparently it's the worst snowstorm that denver has seen since 2021 it's not that bad in the city i will say it has been snowing consistently non-stop but apparently in the mountains it is like dumping but we don't have anything planned we haven't had anything planned for a while because i take every day as it is i wake up vibe check how i feel and then plan out my day hour by hour based on how i feel to not push myself too hard I've been trying to eat 
super healthy. Like I mentioned that in the rant. I've been kind of following a little bit of a specific diet, but honestly nothing too crazy. I've just been trying to eat more whole foods, less processed foods. I've also cut out gluten. So part of like the 75 hard, soft challenge, whatever you want to call it, my own version of that. I think 75 hard, you're supposed to follow a very specific strict diet like paleo or whole 30 or vegan or vegetarian or whatever you choose. So I'm not necessarily doing that to that extent because I do think that that's a little bit extreme, but I am cutting out gluten. I actually took a test I think it's by Everly Well, I think it's the name brand of the test. A couple of months ago, back when we were living in Jersey City, I can't remember if I vlogged it or talked about it or not, but basically it's a food sensitivity test that will tell you if you are reactive to any specific type of food. Um, and I actually found out that I am reactive to wheat, gluten, and egg whites of all things the most random combination which is funny because i would say that i ate a lot of that stuff on a daily basis so in order to get the health in check and just kind of like figure out what's going on and like make myself feel better i've decided to attempt to cut out gluten for 75 days just to see if it makes me feel better so far i feel like i've been way less bloated since i've cut out gluten which is interesting and I don't know, I, I don't know if I'll have any other reactions to cutting out gluten, but I feel like I've had a positive experience so far. All that to say, I've been trying to eat healthier breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, the whole nine yards. Um, and one brand that I've found that I really like that has really great ingredients is the Simple Mills brand. I've definitely showed them on the channel before, but I'm obsessed, my current fixation, is with their banana muffins. So good. I make these at least like once a week, once every other week. They're just like the perfect snack, dessert, breakfast item. Honestly, I've been eating them for breakfast a lot. I'll have like a bowl of yogurt with granola and some fruit and then I'll have a muffin on the side. But I really, really like it. If you guys are looking for a healthy brand that's gluten-free, has clean ingredients, I would highly recommend trying out the Simple Mills brand. I get it off of Thrive Market a lot, but Whole Foods sells it. I think like regular grocery store sells it too. Like if you have um, Kroger's or Giant or Safeway, I think a lot of big name grocery stores sell the Simple Mills brand. You don't just have to get it from like a health food store or Thrive Market. So my recent fixation has been the banana muffins. I made these earlier today and I bought this last night. I bought their protein almond flour pancake mix, which I'm excited to try. I tried a different brand last week and I actually just finished it up on Monday. And I can't remember what the brand's called, but it wasn't my favorite, so I wanna try the Simple Mills version. I'm excited that it's a protein pancake mix too because I like the, what is it called? Kodiak pancakes. But obviously these have gluten in them, so I haven't been able to eat them since I've decided to cut out gluten. So I wanted to find like an alternative for these protein pancakes. And I feel like since I like the banana muffins of the Simple Mills, this is going to be good. So we are doing that. It's been hard because John obviously doesn't eat gluten free, but he's pretty chill in regards to what we eat. So as soon as I told him that I wanted to try to go gluten free to kind of get my health in check. He was all for it. Like last night we made pasta and we just made two separate types of pasta noodles, one gluten-free for me, one regular for him. And we just made sure that the sauce was gluten-free in general so that we could both use it. So that's been pretty easy to keep up with because he's pretty on board for it. The only thing that's kind of sucked is like bread. I can't really eat sandwiches as often as I was. I did buy Ezekiel bread, which I've had before and I actually don't mind it. The flavor is not the best in regards to bread because bread just really isn't meant to be gluten-free, I don't think, to be honest. But for some reason, the Ezekiel brand, this one, doesn't taste that bad. It's flourless sprouted grain Ezekiel bread. And I get the orange one. It's in the freezer section, so you have to thaw it out, but it's not too bad. I just have been cutting back on the sandwiches because it's not the best. Also, 
I feel like sandwiches in general with like processed deli meat just aren't that great for you as often as I was eating them. So I've been trying to mix up the lunches by doing like chicken salad or leftovers or little snack plates, things of that sort. So those are a few of the food products that I've been loving. Um, if you're also on your health journey or your health kick or you're trying to eat gluten-free or just more whole foods, those are just a few of the brands and items I would recommend trying because those have been my latest fixations as of this past week and I have been loving them. Going from eating gluten your entire life and not having to worry about a specific diet to having to pay more attention to what you're putting in your body and the ingredients you're putting into your body has been quite the awakening for me. You just don't realize how many processed ingredients and things of that sort are actually in the food brand you're buying until you're forced to pay attention to the ingredients. So it's been eye-opening, it's been interesting, it's been an adjustment, but so far I am enjoying it. We'll see at the end of the 75 days how I feel physically and if I want to implement gluten back into my diet, but I'm kind of doing a little bit of an elimination diet here to see what makes me feel better, if it has any effect on me long term, and things of that sort. And also, like I said, not meant to trigger anyone. Please do your own research, consult a dietitian, nutritionist, your PCP whoever it may be before taking drastic measures. Unless you're struggling with your health, you probably don't need to cut out anything. I unfortunately am just going through a series of unfortunate events that have led me to taking away a few things that I unfortunately do really love, such as gluten. Love gluten so much. Gluten may not like me, but I really love gluten. It's after work. I'm getting ready to go down to the gym to do a workout I'm wearing. Nike shorts, even though it's literally blizzarding outside. Hoka's Nike shirt, I just threw it on over my tank top. I'm forcing myself to get an hour of movement in every day that's not just walking around my apartment, whether it's 30 minutes on the treadmill, then 30 minutes yoga. Yesterday I did 60 minutes on the, what is it called? The bike, but not like the Peloton, like the sitting one. I'm blanking on the name, which was nice. I think today I'm gonna do 30 minutes of like slow walking on the treadmill, no incline, 15 minutes of yoga, and then maybe 15 minutes of abs if I'm up to it. I haven't done anything too crazy with the workouts because I've had the balance issues. I don't wanna make myself insanely dizzy. I just think that that would be counterproductive, but I do think moving my body is helping me recover. So I've been trying to do an hour worth of something. Normally I would go outside for a walk. That's been like my go-to activity because it's been nice to get fresh air. It's been really nice in Denver the past week, other than today, it's been like 65 degrees. Super sunny, beautiful weather. So I've been really enjoying getting out and going for a walk, but obviously I'm not gonna walk in the middle of a blizzard when the sidewalks are not plowed. I also just don't wanna walk outside in the snow. So we're gonna use the gym, gonna get some work out in, move our body, and then see where the rest of the evening takes us. Also, side note, I've recently joined the summer fridays party and i am a big fan i got this in my revolve package yesterday i ordered some stuff on the sale ended up returning them but this is the only thing that i kept and i would say it's very similar and comparable to laneige maybe even better dare i say i really really like it i feel like it actually keeps my lips super moisturized the packaging is super cute tastes good smells good overall solid product i know i'm so late to the summer fridays party because this has been around for years at this point everyone's obsessed with it but bought it on sale for the first time and I will be repurchasing it I really really like it for dinner like pasta that we had last night because John made so much of it that we had a ton of leftovers even the gluten-free portion so I had that for dinner took a shower obviously and have been sitting on the couch I'm having some dessert this is the 
Q, simple milk chocolate, H, U. I heard about this chocolate actually from the massage therapist that I went to when we went to Crested Butte. She was very talkative during the massage, which honestly, I don't get massages often enough to know whether or not that's normal, but we had like a whole conversation during my massage and she was actually a really cool person. She goes back and forth between Denver and New York City all the time, so we were able to relate on a lot of things and somehow we got on the topic of she eats like entirely gluten-free, dairy-free, she still eats meat so she's not like vegan or vegetarian, but we started talking about clean foods and she recommended this brand, which I've heard a lot about this brand from other influencers and just social media and walk around the store and stuff like that but i've never tried it and i really really like it this is my favorite bar so far it's the simple milk chocolate i feel like i also had the dark chocolate the dark chocolate was kind of good and then the hazelnut but i'm a big fan and i mean fairly clean ingredients for it being a chocolate bar i don't know this has just been my favorite go-to dessert lately they're not the cheapest but i don't splurge on them that often so it's worth it so i'm having a chocolate bar for dessert john actually went out to meet his sister for a drink at a bar near us i don't know why they decided to do that in the middle of a blizzard but more power to him i was not leaving this apartment i haven't been drinking recently i haven't had a drink in probably like three weeks to a month with everything going on also i'm just making it part of the 75 soft slash hard challenge that I'm doing. Drinking is like a big portion of it because honestly, I think the drinking would make my symptoms worse. I feel like I'd get so incredibly dizzy if I decided to drink when I was already dizzy. Drinking in general just doesn't sound fun to me. Not that I can't go out and hang out with them and not drink, but going out to drink in the middle of a blizzard just is kind of like the icing on the cake for me of not wanting to do that. So. I am hanging out at home tonight while he goes and hangs out with his sister. I'm watching some YouTube and I'm gonna play the Switch. Just having a very chill night. This is what a lot of my evenings have looked like recently. It's just been like sitting on the couch watching a favorite show or a YouTube video or playing the Switch or talking to John or reading a book. Just very chill evenings around here after I get my workout done. Not that that's much different than what I was doing before. I have been sick, but I just feel like there's even more of a emphasis to chill out during the night and kind of unwind after work and not do too much in order to set myself up for success the following day if that makes sense so this is where i'll be my chocolate bar my switch youtube videos going just hanging out having a very wholesome night in Happy Friday. I've been up and at him for a little bit. It's 9.25 Mountain Time. So I've been up for like two and a half hours, which it doesn't even feel like that, but I guess I have been. I've just been sitting on the couch having a very slow morning. I only had two meetings today. One of them got canceled. So my next meeting is at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So I have like 30 minutes, but I just wanted to say good morning. I started the morning off with a little skincare, I did some eye patches, sat on the couch, answered some emails, drank some water, ate a muffin. I think I'm going to make some protein pancakes this morning. I want to try the Simple Mills mix. I just feel like I need a very fulfilling breakfast. I feel super hungry this morning. I didn't have yogurt or granola or anything, but I want to kind of switch it up today since it's Friday. So I wanted to try out this mix it looks like it's the same consistency as the other mix that i tried probably just because it's almond flour hopefully it's good i don't know we'll see out of 10 these are honestly so good would highly recommend
happy Saturday. I did not plan on bringing this vlog into today, but I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I actually did not feel good yesterday. I wrapped up work. I like pretty much sat on the couch all day and worked. And then after work, I took a nap and the nap is what took me out. I, whenever I end up taking a nap, it means that I'm either not gonna feel good later or I currently don't feel good. I never just take naps for no reason. And I ended up with a really, 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 really bad headache. And it took me out for the rest of the night. So I didn't vlog last night. And today is Saturday. It's actually all of the St. Patrick's Day celebrations in Denver. So we can hear the parade that's going on from our apartment. And I think we may venture out a little bit later on to see what's popping off in the city. I don't know, I feel like there'll be like some little markets or bars or things of that sort going on today for the St. Patrick's Day celebration. So we'll see. But I wanted to bring this vlog, or at least bring you guys into part of today because I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I was down for the count. It was not good. I really did not feel good. We were supposed to watch Dune last night because we wanted to see, or potentially see, Dune 2 today. But I ended up not being able to watch it because I couldn't keep my eyes open because my head hurt so bad. So, that was my night last night. <laughs> not very fun. Um... Okay, I need to figure out how to do my hair, but I just wanted to say good morning and check in with you guys. This is literally the first time I put on makeup in like three weeks. <laughs> so love that for me. Okay, ignore the fact that I'm eating a banana. This is the outfit of the day. Honestly, don't like it. Didn't like my other option either. I don't like this one. But <laughs> it's literally the only thing green that I own. So I'm wearing the sweater, leggings, boots. I'm eating a banana because I feel like I'm gonna pass out just a little bit. So I'm trying to eat something so that I feel fine. We're gonna go down to the parade. I think it's still going on. It honestly looks like it's still going on. There are a lot of people out and about though. So <laughs> we'll see how long we last walking around. Sasha, I don't even know what there is to do out there other than watch the parade. So we'll see. I didn't realize that St. Patrick's Day in Denver was like a big thing or else we probably would have planned this out a little better. Gotten up earlier, secured a spot, you know, the whole nine yards, but I guess you live and you learn. If we're here next year, we'll know to make it a whole thing. up on some decaf Nespresso pods. I have all the ones that I bought a few months ago that have the caffeine in them up in the cabinet. Obviously I haven't been using them since I'm doing no caffeine. So I wanted to get some decaf pods because I honestly just miss the taste of coffee. I don't miss the caffeine, don't need the caffeine. I just miss having a little beverage every morning or like every couple of mornings. I don't know. So I got the decaf espresso ones and then this is a decaf full cup. I think that decaf coffee technically still has trace amounts of caffeine in it but obviously it's not like a full cup or espresso shot of caffeine. So I'm excited to try these out. It's five o'clock now so we've had a full day since I think the last time I talked to the vlog. We went out and did the parade. It was actually really cool. We kind of like lucked out being here today when the parade was going on because we were planning on potentially doing like a day trip to Fort Collins or something of this sort, but ultimately just we didn't fall through with that. So we were here when the parade was going on, but it was really cool. We ended up going to a rooftop bar and just like watching the parade from the rooftop slash garden area of this bar. Came back here, hung out for a little bit, and then we were just upstairs on the roof 
playing Yahtzee to get some fresh air, some vitamin D. It's really, really nice outside. I think it's only like 45 to 50 degrees, but the sun is so strong that it feels super warm and it's beautiful outside. So that's what we've been up to today. We are going to hang out for a little bit and then I think we're gonna attempt to go out for dinner. We do have stuff for tacos, but I think that we're gonna just hold off on the tacos until tomorrow night and we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. We actually haven't been out to dinner in a while. Last time we went out to dinner was with my mom. Mm -hmm. And that was like two weeks ago? Yeah. No, a week and a half ago, I think. So I guess we have gone out to dinner kind of recently, but we normally go out to dinner, I would say like once or twice a week, especially on the weekends, just with all the activities that we have going on. And we obviously haven't been going out to eat since I haven't been feeling that great, but I think we may try to do that tonight. So I need to find a restaurant and go from there, but I wanted to end off the vlog because I want to edit this and get it up for you guys tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday and we're going to get back to the regular upload schedule of every Sunday. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below. We're back to posting. Pinky promise. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I will see you in the next one.